you're welcome to another video competition. So today I'll be talking about the parts of the microscope. The parts of the microscope. The microscope, especially this compound microscope, it has different parts. And it is important for you to know that in order to make use of the microscope, you should be able to identify the different parts and know the function of those parts. If you don't know the function of the different parts of the microscope, definitely you won't be able to make use of it. So I'll be starting with the, uh, the head of the microscope. So this is the head of the microscope. Just as human beings have head, you know, where your eyes and your nose are, the same thing with the microscope. So it has head. This head is also called the body tube of the microscope. So this is the head of the microscope. Then we also have the arm of the microscope, ARM, the arm of the microscope. And this is the arm of the microscope. So with this arm of the microscope, when you want to lift the microscope, that is where you hold to be able to lift it up and then you place your hand at the base of the microscope and that takes us to the base of the microscope. This is the base of the microscope, the lower part of the microscope. Then the microscope also has the high peaks. These are the high peaks. We have two high peaks. This and this and this so you can see 10 x written here so this is a times 10 eyepiece then we have the diopter adjustments with this eyepiece this is where you place your eyes as this is where you look into whenever you want to use the microscope so you look into the eyepiece and then you know be able to see the specimen but for you to be able to compensate for visual differences Another part of the microscope that is very important is the diopter adjustment. This is the diopter adjustment. You can see the diopter adjustment helps to bring the eyepiece either closer or to you know move them apart from each other. And what are you trying to do is to be able to compensate for visual differences. Some people when they want to use the microscope, you see them using just one eye or look into one eyepiece and you know squint the other one it shouldn't be like that you should be able to open the two eyes at the same time when you are looking into the microscope and so with the aid of the diopter adjustment you can be able to adjust it such that when you look into the eyes you will open the two eyes at the same time and still be able to see what you want to see now squinting then the other part that you need to know is the coarse adjustment we have two adjustments of the microscope actually. The coarse adjustment and this is the coarse adjustment. We also have the fine adjustments. Whenever you have the opportunity to use the microscope, I want you to you know, experiment it. You just try to turn the coarse adjustment and then the fine adjustment. You will notice that the coarse adjustment is somehow harder for you to turn. Whereas the fine adjustment is very, very smooth and easy to turn. So the coarse adjustment, what it does is that it helps you to bring the object into general focus. So by the time you place your object, this is my uh, microscope slide. Let's say I have an image on it and I place it under the microscope. By the time I want to focus it, I need to use the coarse adjustment to raise up the mechanical adjustment. As I raise it up, it moves closer to the objective lens. And then with the aid of the fine adjustment, what I will do is to use it to fine tune it and bring the object into more details. For me to be able to see the details of the object I am viewing. So the coarse and fine adjustments are very, very important. Then the nose piece is another part of the microscope that you should know. The nose piece, this is the nose piece. You can see it's, it can be rotated. And what the nose piece is used for is for, to be able to select the particular objective lens that you need. Now, we have different types of sizes of objective lenses. We have the times four objective lens. This is the times four objective lens, which is called the scanning objective lens. 
we have the times 10 objective lens. This is the times 10 objective lens. It is called the low power objective lens. We have the times 40 objective lens, which is called the high power objective lens. And we have the times 100 objective lens, which is called the oil immersion objective lens. So with the aid of the nose piece, I can select the particular objective lens I want then the other part that you need to know is the iris diaphragm the iris diaphragm now what is the iris diaphragm the iris diaphragm is a part of the microscope that is used to control the amount of light that gets to the object now i have put on the microscope you can see the illuminator on now with the aid of the iris diaphragm i can control the amount of light that gets to the object this if my object is on this slide now what will i do this is the iris adjustment it's just a um, like an eye a metal uh, rod that is attached to the microscope underneath here when you open it by the time you open it you can see the amount of light here but by the time I close the iris diaphragm, what do you notice? You notice that the light reduces. So when you open, you, that means you have more light. If you need more light to enter into the object, you open the iris diaphragm. But if you want low amount of light, you close the iris diaphragm. That is how that works. Then the other part that we also need to talk about is the condenser. The condenser is another type of lens, you know, in the microscope. And now, come and see, the condenser has a control here. So this is what I can, what I use, you know, to move the condenser. You can move the condenser up or down. The condenser is actually here. It's here. It's a lens in this place here. When you you see there is another type of lens just like this, just like the objective lens. So it is a lens. You can move it upward, the way I just moved it, or you can move it downward. And what do you, what is the function of this condenser? The condenser helps you, you know, to gather the light from the illuminator, so that the, all the light from the illuminator can enter into the object. But at the same time, you can control the amount of light with the aid of the by lowering it. By the time you increase it, it gathers more light and then allows more light to get to the image. So that's that. Another part of the microscope is the mechanical stage. And the mechanical stage is where the slide containing the image is placed on. So it's like a flat surface where you place the slide on. Then another part that is important is the stage clip the stage clip this is it it's a metal soft metal clip you know it helps to hold the slide in place so that by the time you are moving the stage this uh, by the time you are moving the stage the slide does not move so it helps to hold the slide in place and then another part is the stage control the stage control helps to move the stage either forward or backward or either forward or backward or sideways, right or left. So that's important is the aperture. The aperture is an opening on the mechanical stage. So if you look at this panel, you can imagine if the whole of this stage is blocked, if it is closed, if this opening is not here, light will not be able to get through. From the illuminator so what this um, aperture does is to give room for the light that wants to you know enter the object to have the opportunity to enter from the illuminator so another part that is important is the illuminator itself you know so we need a source of light for us to be able to focus and be able to view any object under the microscope so the illuminator in this case attached to this piece so this is an electrical illuminator in your microscope you see you know an external bulb being placed some even makes use of mirror so that you can use light from the sunlight you know to focus the microscope but in this case now it's an electrical one that has been connected to this microscope 
the important thing is to have a source of light that will enter into the microscope and be able to help you to view the object. Another part that is important in the microscope is the brightness adjustment. So the brightness adjustments, you can see the illuminator that the light is on. So we can actually adjust the amount of light entering into the microscope with the aid of the uh, brightness adjustment. This is the brightness adjustment here. So once you just turn it, you know, you can see that the light has gone off. So I can increase the light or reduce the light here. And then we also have the on and off switch. So this is the on and off switch. Once I switch it on, it goes off. Once I put it off, it goes off. Once I put it on, it comes on. And that's it. So those are the different parts of the microscope. So thank you for watching.